Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number 5 in the SSRF module titled SSRF with Filter Bypass via Open Redirection Vulnerability. Alright, let's get started. This lab has a stock check feature which fetches data from an internal system. To solve the lab, change the stock check URL to access the admin interface at 192.168.0.12, running on port 8080 slash admin, and delete the user Carlos. The stock checker has been restricted to only access the local application, so you will need to find an open redirect affecting the application first. All right, so our vulnerable feature is the stock check functionality and the goal of the exercise is to change the stock check url to access the admin interface and delete the user carlos so let's put that in here and click on view toggle word wrap all right this looks much better and let's create our analysis section all right, so the defense for SSRF has been implemented correctly over here, and so we can't use any of the techniques that we used in previous labs. Instead, we're going to have to find an open redirect vulnerability that will allow us to perform an SSRF exploit. So let's right click and access the lab. And in the meantime, open up Burp Suite Professional. So I'm using the professional version of Burp because I want to use the render feature when it comes to requests. However, that's not necessary in order to complete the exercise. So if you don't have the professional version, it's completely okay. You could use the community edition. Let's hit OK and put it over here and go to the proxy tab. All right, let's set our browser to send requests to Burp and click on view details for the first product. Hit forward, forward again. All right, and if we go down, we've got a check stock feature. So let's click on that and send this one to repeater. That's the check stock feature that we've been dealing with in the past couple of labs. So send to repeater. But notice over here, so first let's forward. And then notice over here, there's also a next product. So let's click on that and send this to a repeater as well. That's a new functionality that we didn't see in previous labs. So let's forward it one more time and set intercept to off. Now go back to repeater and let's name our tabs. So this was the check stock feature and this was the next product feature. All right, let's test the check stock feature first. So let's do control shift U to URL decode it. And it's not using a URL, so that's interesting. It's using the path to the application. So it's using the path to the feature that it wants to visit. So in this case, it's product slash stock slash check product ID is equal to one. And then when you hit send, it says missing parameter because it's not URL encoded. So if you do control shift U, or control U to URL encode it, it gives you the number of items that are available for this product. Okay, so if we give it, a, let's say HTTP localhost, it's likely not going to work because what's going to happen, it's going to append this to the uh, URL of the system that is used in order to check items, which we've seen it in previous labs. It was something like I like to shop.net. So if we hit send, it says invalid external stock check URL and invalid URL. So this doesn't work. Let's go back. What we're going to do is we need to become creative and try to exploit this vulnerability without having to put in a URL over here, at least not directly. So if we look at next product over here, notice that there's a path variable that if you hit send, what it's going to do, it's going to redirect you to this path in the application. So if we follow redirection, notice over here, it got you to the page product where the product ID is equal to two. So this is redirecting you to a different location in the application. Let's see if it's vulnerable to an open redirect vulnerability. That's a vulnerability where the application will redirect you to an arbitrary URL. So let's say HTTPS www.google.com and see if it redirects us to google.com. Okay, we get a 302. That's a good sign. 
And if we render over here, we're at the Google page. So this is definitely vulnerable to an open redirect vulnerability. And we're going to use that in order to exploit the SSRF vulnerability in the Checkstock feature. All right, so the way to do that is instead of have slash product slash stock slash check and then the product ID, what we're going to do is remove this over here and go back to next product and add this path. Now this should be accepted by the system because this is a valid path in the application. So let's copy it and paste it in here. However, instead of the path being slash product where the product ID is equal to two, what we're going to do is we're going to add the path to the internal system that has the admin interface. So it's HTTP. And we had that in the exercise over here. Slash admin. So in a real world scenario where you don't have the IP address, what you would do is fuzz the application with all the possible IP addresses until you get one that is running on port 8080. And then from there, you fuzz the application in order to find valid directories, which in this case is the admin. But we've done that in one of the previous labs. And so I'm not going to show it in this lab over here. Instead, I'm going to assume that we know the path and we enter it over here. So what's going to happen over here is that the application is first going to validate that the supplied stock API URL is an allowed domain, which it is because, you know, it's coming from slash product slash next product. And then the application will request the supplied URL, which triggers the open redirect vulnerability from the path variable, it follows the redirection and makes the request to the internal URL of the attacker's choosing. And so this way you bypass the defenses that were put for SSRF and exploited the vulnerability. So if we hit send, we should see the admin page and we see a missing parameter path. So what we're going to do is URL encode this. So control U to URL encode it, hit send. And here we go. We get a 200 response. If we render, we're at the admin page. So I'm just going to copy this right over here and add it in here. So admin page slash admin. And then the next thing we want to do is delete the user. So delete user. We're going to go back here, go to raw and click on and find the user Carlos. And here's the path to delete the user. So it's HTTP 192.168.0.12. And we've got Carlos right over here. Let's copy that. And let's put it under the path variable. So I'm just going to URL decode this one more time. Control Shift U, put it in here, and then URL encode it again, just so that I don't make any mistakes. So let's paste this. And then URL encode the entire thing. So control U, hit send. And here we go. We deleted the Carlos user. And so we get a congratulations, you solved the lab message. And if we visit the admin page again, hit send and click on render. We no longer see the Carlos user because the Carlos user no longer exists. All right, so we successfully completed the exercise by using an open redirect vulnerability in order to perform an SSRF vulnerability. The next thing we're going to do is script the exercise in Python. If you would like to see a detailed version of the video where we first exploit the vulnerability manually and then script it in Python, check out the video linked on the screen. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out my course if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one. Thank you and see you in the next video.